All right, so for the next thing we're gonna taste test, it's it's a Nestle brand, but you can only find them, uh, well, you find them here. It's called Extra Fin, Nestle Extra, extra Fin. Extra Fun. Uh, no, not Extra Fun. Nestle. Extra Fin, and of course in Spain they don't say Nestle, they say Nestle, because that's how you pronounce <laughs> things here. Now this has, now we, we were kind of taken with this because it has a picture of dinosaurs. I don't know. <laughs> so don't know what the dinosaurs dinosaur ever dinosaur bones? Do. Yeah, it looks like it's just, um, it's, it's it, supposed it, it to be kind of like, like a, dipped chocolate bar with a wafer like the last one. Yeah, it's kind of so, like an animal cracker covered in yeah, chocolate. Yeah, it's like a picture of a dinosaur. With a picture of a dinosaur <laughs> on it, right. For the kids. So we got a couple, we already opened one just so we can get to it quicker. So this it's, is the little yeah, broke off little piece. Yeah, it's, it's a little, little melted. Yeah, these are a little bit warm. We kind of left them out a little too long. Okay. Huh. There's a the little wafer? bit of. There's like barely any wafer. I'm not sure there's much wafer at all. Maybe it's more like, like cookie crumble. Kind of like take like cookie crumbs, put that into kind of some caramel, yeah, and then yeah, put chocolate like on that. So that's what it is. It's like chocolate caramel with so. cookie crumbs that give it a little bit of a crunch throughout. It's not instead of a yeah. solid cookie. I think it would crumbs. be better if it weren't so warm. Yeah, I bet you but, probably should put this in the fridge yeah. before we finish. I mean, we have a lot here. We just did a quick test. But yeah, yeah that's pretty good. good. Yeah. That is really good. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like the way the cookie crumb the cookie crumbs are spread out, and so mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's not very much of a crunch. But, yeah, but it's a little it's, bit of a crunch. That's well, good. That would, I would recommend yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. All Make right. Sure you should put it in the fridge. Yes, <laughs> keep it in the fridge because it melts easily. All right. Well, welcome back, and you just saw us do a review of Nestle Extra Fin. And we mentioned in there that we were in Madrid, Spain. Yes. Just to give you a little background, my wife, his mom, uh, was born and raised in Spain and her brother still lives there. So when we were there in Spain, we were at uh, my brother-in-law's house and we were there uh, doing the taste test at his dining room table. Uh, you did hear a little bit of background noise because there's a fan going yeah. in the background because, yeah, yeah, in, tell them why. In Spain, the, the, at least the week we were there, it was like mid 90s, upper 90s. I think at one point it even got to like a hundred, um, because we were there in June and it was really hot that week, so the fans going because the AC, at least where they lived, is really expensive, um, so they just didn't get it or whatever. Well, they don't even have or, air conditioning. Most homes don't even have no, air conditioning. Oh. Even if you wanted to turn it on, they don't have it. It doesn't oh, exist. Really? really? Yeah. Okay. It wasn't like they chose not to turn it on. Oh, it, okay. It's yeah. not. They don't have air conditioning, and yes. that's just the way many European homes, even modern, even more modern European homes, like his home was built uh, only within the last 20 years, but it did not come with uh, air yeah. conditioning. But anyway, so yeah, they had fans on all over the house, so that's why there was like, a bunch of noise in the background. Yeah. But as far as uh, the Nestle Extra Fin, mm -hmm. what did you think of that? It was good. It was a little bit hot, melty, because it, it was, like I said, it I was hot in there. But it, overall, it was it was good. Yeah. And I think part of the reason the chocolate started to melt a little bit, it was just because it was so hot yeah. inside the house. Uh, it was even hotter outside, but it was hot inside the house. And just as we had the, the chocolate just sitting on the table, getting ready to film the video, it was already starting to melt a yes. little bit. So that's, that's not Nestle's fault. No, that was no. really more of just the situation that we were in. So we're going to try to kind of be able to take that right, out yeah. of our score. We're yeah. trying to kind of overcome that and try to give it an honest score um okay. and not hold that against yes. try not to hold that against Nestle. But yeah, it was it had it was like a caramel flavor with a little bit of a wafer. Right. And it was like more like um it said wafer on the package but it was really more like a cookie crumble. Yeah. Yeah. Like like take cookie crumbs, mix that in the It was like caramel, caramel and then wrap it in chocolate, it. right? Yeah. So as far as the but score, overall it was good though, yeah. But you said for a score, yeah, for a score on a one to ten scale. I think I'll give it a seven. A seven. It was good. It was. It was pretty good. Yeah, and I will do the same. I will also okay. go with a seven. I think that's probably one of the few times we've given the exact same yeah. score. Uh, I also get a seven. It's a very solid. Yes. You know, candy Def bar, definitely. chocolate bar, however you want to phrase it. Um, yeah, it was good. It didn't blow my socks off. But it was good. Yeah, it was just so, solid. I'm sure yes. there's a lot of candies that you can think of that do. That's a solid candy bar. If somebody's giving me one for free, sure, I'll take it. But 
if if have a choice i'll go a different direction uh but yeah so very solid score if you're ever in spain and you see uh nestle extra fin and you're curious about you know you like wafer you like caramel you like chocolate pick it up give it a yeah, try definitely. yeah so that is it from us this is from our home in the nashville area where we are based uh, our family we're a bunch of readers. My wife, my three kids. Derek is my youngest of three kids. And we're all big, big readers, mm-hmm. as you can see from behind us. Uh, this is uh, the room in our house where we uh, keep most of our uh, books. Yeah, lots and lots of books in our house. So anyway, if you like what we're doing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And yes, please. <laughs> please. So <laughs> we will see you on the next one.